Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. That fence that I threw in between these two staircases, I decided to go for broke and kind of funnel them in even further and build another staircase. I want to see if I can get them to actually walk these staircases. If that's their only way to get through, maybe they will do it. This one, just the right angle, was able to take that even further down than this one. This one just kind of faded into the, uh, into the ground and wouldn't continue. But, yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of them creating an easy way to get up this hill if I can just make them take it. Edward, Edmund, I think you're just going to change your name to Edward. <laughs> Edmund is up early, had him clear out a few things over here and spent some time expanding a lot of these gardens. Boy, we're going to have a lot of planting to do, but uh, we're going to get enough grain this time between that one this one and this one we're, we're definitely gonna have enough grain to get through next winter anyway turn this on um we survived that bug attack down there and i finally remembered that rita and carter had gone out and butchered and so i sent uh, paulette and carter out to get the the hay the the leather and the meat that they had dropped off when i drafted them but rita is up early four in the morning let her grab some food, and then we're going to send her off on a mission. And yeah, that that one that popped in at the end last time, distress signal or something like that. And maybe we'll have an eighth character. I don't know what the max is. I've, I've heard eight, but that was before uh, this update, which gave you a bigger family. So maybe the max now is ten. don't know. It, it added two to your uh, most likely to receive as far as uh, additional survivors we are at four in the morning a lot of people are up still dark out there as far as sunrise goes uh solar flare is done or not solar eclipse is done so that's not a thing anymore rita is finished and training dog so that's her number one thing and she does that as soon as she gets up each day but instead we are going to send you off to that one distress signal Let's go see what that is. Um, do I put you in warmer clothes first? We now have warmer clothes. We could. You are capable of handling up to, or down to, 24 degrees. If we get a cold blast or a, an extreme cold blast that comes in, maybe you will wish we had done something different. Let's give you the pants and shirt. Hmm... Let's give you the shirt. Yeah, that one is here. What are you? Your coat. Uh, your hot air balloon. Your pants. Thermal pants. Fur cap. And boots. Okay, then you get the pants. Rita, can you equip? Once that's done, then you can... Back, I, let's just... Well, and when you come back, you'll wear out your shirt and you'll grab a new one. We have a couple in stock. I don't want a bunch of barely good shirts or clothes just kind of hanging around let's wear them and wear them out and get them done so you're equipping and as soon as you're done equipping then we will set you to the the uh, expedition otherwise other folks are getting up claim to be better at darts than simon taking a walk sunrise five in the morning transporting all right let's get you out of here rita you are going to here uh, crash site is emitting an automated long-range distress signal. It's automated. I don't think there's a person there. I think that's kind of the, the clue. But let's go ahead and do this. And on an expedition, so you got to go grab two meals. Okay, or two somethings. Maybe berries. Well, closest thing from where you were, so it's probably these two veggies. So we need... Did I already fix that? I know I noticed that when I was editing. Activities. Paulette has not been doing any cooking because she has been trapped handling everything. So I put a one on her for cooking. We're going to get back to making meals again. Hopefully she can make meals out of... Actually, I just realized something. We really don't have much in the way of pickled vegetables. I think they have been eating them in place of meals. Or we're cooking with them. Well, I don't know. I went ahead and set this freezer to take 
berries again and go ahead and, and save the uh, the berries. I did some thinking between this episode and last. Also notice something. This right here, group by type. I've seen it, seen it a lot, didn't think much of it. Click on it and, oh, that is all the storage that fits inside the refrigerator or the shelf unit. Ah, now it makes so much more sense. Yeah, now you really know whether or not you've got a, sh a spare shelf somewhere or if the stack is, is maxed out or what have you. And I believe that also gives you the the durability. Yeah, how much life is left? 34% are left on, on these uh, bush fruits. And then I realized we could be making a whole bunch of slop out of bush fruits. So that is a big thing to get done today. In fact, let's just set Simon to do nothing but make slop today. Simon, you are a number one on crafting today. Okay. So with that, Rita, did you get going? You are taking off. And there she goes. And handling the the balloon. Good animations. Kana's risking of meltdown because she just got up and she was way in the dark trying to get back up and and uh, kind of falling apart there. So we had our big battle last night in the dark. What's that? Oh. Thundering noises. Always happens right here too. Um, anyway, I'm trying to remember the timing of last time. Um, Edmund, you are question marked. You're in great shape. Can you butcher a scarab, please? He was kind of a leftover. In fact, there was there another one over here. There's not. You are transporting 108. I got rid of all the bug meat up top there. Force him to bring it all back down here. And I think we're going to head and, going to go ahead and, and make a few more of these. So let's throw up another structure. Uh, copy. And I can't because of that red square right there. Err. Okay. Well, then we'll just make a duplicate of what we've got here to you and you yeah um let's go ahead and do some things down here these shelters are really cheap to build were they 10 and 10 15 and 15 though we do need some more sticks but let's make some more of these uh copy and just kind of let's see is that a pathway that's kind of a pathway so let's leave that right there and can I do it here? I can. All right. Now we got the ability to make bug meat fuel galore. So Carter will attack those. We need to get someone like Edmund to transporting. Ah, you did that. And you're going to go back and repair things. Okay. When the repairing is done, then we will get you cutting. And let's take down a bunch of trees, take down a bunch of bushes. Let's get caught up. That thunder, I've see, I've heard that before, happen before a snowstorm. It's almost like that's the announcement that a storm is coming in, that thundering noise. I've noticed a few episodes back, it started to rain right afterward, and one other time, it started to snow right afterward. So I think that's how the game lets you know a storm's coming in. What is that over there? Oh, was that mission that close? I didn't notice the timing on it. Um, what was I seeing? I guess it was just that bush. From here, it looked like there was something standing there. But yeah, it's just a bush. That mission was distress signal two days. It's 11 hours away. Didn't we send her at like 4 in the morning? Maybe... Giant grass. Ah, okay. Maybe she observed something along the way. Not necessarily that she arrived yet. I decided to call the tall, dense grass giant's grass. Growing and harvesting, it won't be too hard, and it could come in handy for simple constructions. So it creates hay, and I'm guessing it creates more hay than the other. Interesting. Okay. So I wonder if it'd be worth to replace this with the other one. Yeah, we could do that. Um... Not much more I can do there. So let's... What are we doing? We are 
adding to or taking away from up here. Okay, let's um, remove the field, I think. What kind of ground does this require? Giant's grass. We're here. Here we go. Oh, it makes 30 hay instead of 20 hay. Okay. So out of the same footprint, hopefully? I think it is. Okay. 90% looks about right. Let's take you to there. That's as big as I can make it. Okay. And let's extend you there. So you get the same footprint as the other field, but we're going to get more out of each plant. Okay. Um, constructing a shelter. Let's let Carter and maybe even Kana construct the shelter. You've got good physical. Let's take some trees down. Uh, you're actually in great health, too. So let's take... Let's take these down. Uh, Edmund. And cut those. And then cut a bunch of bushes. Let's do that again. Edmund. So right here... Now we still missed some, so we'll do it that way. Then we'll do it. There we go. Five of you, and then out over in here, we'll do another ten of you. Okay, so that gives you plenty to do today, Kana. You are Kana, Kana, Kana. There you are. You transport. You're you're doing some of the uh, the busy work down here that Paulette needed to do. And that's probably good. Um. Let's set you to run another couple of times whenever that happens. Whenever we get some more grain. So we can use it for some of our recipes. Kind of forgotten all about this guy, just ignoring it. You guys too. Um, let's get some more fats. Is that you? Animal fats, insects. We'll go ahead and grab... How many do you take? You take 20. We have in stock... 136. So I can do two of those and still have enough for two more fuels. Okay. Fuel right now is what? And speaking of fuel, 20. This guy started working. Remember we couldn't get it to work last time? It, 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 it indicated that it was running, but it wasn't. I clicked the fuel off and back on again. And suddenly it fired up all by itself and everything lit up in the house. And <laughs> I wish I could have done that on camera. I did that after the episode, just scratching my head trying to figure out what I missed. So, handling a furnace means grabbing some some hay, I guess. I thought furnaces took sticks. Oh, hay is for bricks. Okay. And we keep popping in over here. Our deficit of sticks, or, of sticks went away. Are you really out here already? You are. Wow. <clears throat> you ignored the trees completely. Yep, you did. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so Paulette is cooking, making meals, and well, I wish there was something we could cook with the uh, bushberries. Uh, Simon, you are using them though. You're making fuel. Mm. You're making fuel. Can I get you to craft slop? You went to the wrong bench. So you, okay, can I get you to craft slop now? So what is that symbol? Just random stuff? Just random stuff. Blueberries. Okay, good. Use those up on the shelf until they're all gone as much as you can. So we'll put a couple hundred slop in here and, and be done with it. Unfortunately, well, I guess, yeah, you will transport it back and store it here each time. If I didn't do that, would you put it here? And is that any faster? I don't know that it's any faster. Yeah, it's it's annoying either way. All right, Edmund is cutting, Kana is handling, which means she's hauling it all in. Oh, nice. For as much as you can. No quantity, so I don't know what you grabbed. And no way of knowing here either. I wish here in your inventory you would show what's in your hands. Hopefully they think of adding that one day. And I also have a note on my list. We Maybe you should start thinking about hunting some bugs and just to keep the bug meat coming in. Let's set you up for hunt. We can't tame them, and they seem to be quite abundant. Yeah, let's set you guys up for hunt, and we'll just use them for practicing up our skills as well. 
it's bug meat, so it's not uh, not so much dinner, but it is fuel and fats and other things like that. Too bad you can't use the skin to get a leather out of them. Seems like that would. No, that's right. This is like a noxious, uh, toxic chemical all around their skin, if I remember right. You are a plant. You are nothing. Okay. Um, 53 degrees out. It's actually quite warm. In fact, I'm kind of surprised the snow is still on the ground. 53 should have melted pretty much everything, unless it was really deep. Simon is getting bug and cloth for fat. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get one round of that, get some more fat in stock. And maybe we'll get a couple of interesting recipes out of it. You are just about full. We need to think about another battery. Meat pie. New recipe. Oh, we made our first meat pie. Oh, good. Because we had fresh meat, I did set the rack to allow for retrieval of meat before it it uh, turns to uh, dried meat. So she was able to steal some of that. That's good. Um, I was just thinking about doing something when that surprised me. What was it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, battery. Yeah. There is a switch you can install that allows you to activate the generator whenever the battery gets below a certain threshold. But it needs a CPU core, which really is a Kana thing. We spent the whole time distributing and handling and transporting. Maybe we'll get Kana next. You're in rough shape. You are. Darn. Okay, well, let's get you to next place of music, and then next, eat some veggie soup, and then next, build me a CPU core, and do that until I find you again, and release you to go get some sleep, but most likely you will f only do one of those, and then decide to do your own thing, and throw away all my orders, and it'll be gone. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, but, you know, I'm, I'm complaining. Ah, uh, Simon is running back out there to get even more? We made two trips all the way down here. I'm a little confused. Hmm. He's already made the trip once. There shouldn't be any cotton down there, so he could have only gone for bug meat. Uh, one use, for some reason, went down for four bug meat, then you're going back for the other 16. That's a shame. What was that? No active task. Yeah, because we don't have any grain in stock. Well, a couple more episodes. We'll be at the end of the blue and into the green up here, and we'll start growing our corn. Expedition complete. Distress signal. I'm too late. An unrecognizable unrec charred body lies twisted on the ground. They didn't survive the crash. I won't be able to scavenge everything in one go but I'll mark the spot it'll be possible to return later yeah but you could scavenge something right now right no hmm okay we are running anybody out there no and it's Rita who is set up for hunting how about we make that a higher priority it doesn't happen very often when it does, it'd be nice to have it happen. So, Rita, hunting. Yeah, nobody's got it on a very high priority. If they give her a one there, and perhaps Carter and Edmund a one. It'll happen, well, construction will happen first. So, in that sense... Yeah, we're trying not to use as many ones, but I see I'm already starting to sneak them all back in. It's really hard not to use ones. It is. It's like uh, hunting a gulch. Yeah. We got time to do that tonight? You do. I know that. You, you don't need that much sleep. Uh, Carter is working down here, and he's he's constructing. Let's get him to handle at the same time. So we'll hang around here. Um, I feel like I was in the middle of a sentence and lost it. Oh, well. 
You guys can fill in the blanks. You're getting something to eat. No, you're going to construct a wooden barrel. And then you're going to load two of them up. Before they get turned into meat soup. Then you're going to ferment some liquid fuel. And then you're going to ferment some liquid fuel. Okay. And these only have the one command because I copied out of these guys. Okay. Now you're handling. Good. So can you grab all 100 at once? Or do you have to make two trips? I mean, it's in your queue. You know you're going to need it. I know you can carry more than 100. But toss those. No, 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 no. And Carter. Gotta babysit these guys. <laughs> okay, now you're free to go. All this is under a roof. And, you know, let's cancel these and move these under a roof as well. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll put that one right over here. I had thought about putting a bed in here. I kicked it around a place to lay down after a battle if somebody gets injured and they could be tended to. But then I'm going to have to get bandages down here and first aid kits down here. And if they're down here, there's not going to be room. I mean, they're not going to be up here anymore. Right here. And I don't know how to say just bring a little bit. So I'm not sure how to deal with that. I can't prioritize. I can't say put half of them here, half of them there. Argued with Umair about combat tactics. Okay. Because Umair is interested in combat. That's right. So he should skill up faster than all the rest of them. Disturb sleep. Paulette walked in there. Yeah, it's going to be time to get back into this soon. We only have nine logs left, though. So, Edmund, where did you ever end up? You went hunting. I don't see an Edmund. You are on your way to sleep from where? Is this one needing to be butchered? And... I know you got the command to come in, but did you really need to? Did you hunt more than one? I don't, I don't know what you were up to out here. All I know is you went hunting. And for some reason you walked past him? He's needing to be butchered. You wouldn't hunt them all, didn't you? He's still on hunt. So, until he goes away, he's going to stay highlighted. That's actually kind of nice. Okay. Um, just looking for others. So it's just these two right now. Alright, Edmund, your condition is actually not that bad. Let's have you instead butcher. Oh, you're in between both of them. Err. Then let's have you butcher that one. He's further away. And we'll have someone else walk out here and do this one. Because he's going to have to carry that meat in. Unless I can stop him halfway back. And then butcher and then carry both meats in. But that's going to put him into 2 or 3 in the morning. So Rita, that was an 11-hour trip. So 22 hours she left when... 7, 8 in the morning. I don't know if it was music time yet or not. 6 in the morning? So she could be back anywhere from 4 to 6 in the morning, depending on when that was. We're at midnight right now. And she'll probably want to... Well, she will have slept. In fact, will it say that she's sleeping right now? She is sleeping right now, so I don't know if that affects travel time. Hmm... So this is now spaceship debris, just like that one. Okay. Now, we did get a pretty good haul from that luxury cruise ship debris. So that's probably worth going back to. In fact, it might be worth going back to immediately to send Edward there tomorrow. Get as many of these in as we can before spring planting starts up and we really get busy. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, I had that shelf unit taken out because it could be the place for a bed. Let's put a bed in anyway. I don't know if we're going to be able to use it, but 
Uh, I think we still have a lot of fabric. We know we have a lot of skin bark. Let's go ahead and do a skin bark bed in here. There is room. Yeah, that officially fits. Okay. And pathway in. I think they can path through like this. To get through there. Okay. Anyway. Edmund. That's right. It's only going to work if I happen to notice you. So, at, was there more than one? I guess he was clear back over here. Okay. So, it is two in the morning. Do I push him any further? He's still average mood. I think we can pull it off. Edmund, can you butcher this one? And then can you haul the meat? Butching, transport, and one more. Maybe the transport automatically locks in after the butchering. Could be. We'll see if they combine if he combines the two of them. Boy, that rock looks shiny in the moonlight. Like it's metal. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be light reflecting off of snow. Alright, so what all are you going to do? You're gonna grab this one and good. And that goes all the way down here and it's kind of on the way it is and then you'll head back home and it'll be dawn as you get there but you can get a night's sleep in in about three or four hours so i don't worry too much about overworking you and he really rarely ever breaks or you know gets gets temperamental none of them have broken yet i want to keep it that way all right well while we're waiting, if you've uh, noticed a comment that I've added to my YouTube page, I am going to be getting back to doing some renovating, starting kind of immediately. So I don't know how frequently these videos are going to be coming out anymore. <clears throat> I'm sure I won't be working every single evening on this. I'm going to get burnt out and want to do something different. So I can see... New Year's Eve. I can see, uh, you know, at least two nights a week wanting to sit down and record videos or do something different. So, Ed, Simon, that's Simon. Uh, one year ends, another one begins. We do not know what tomorrow will bring, but the turn of the time does give hope. We can gather and celebrate New Year's Eve at 2300 today. Of course. Go for it. Celebration. All right, so apparently that mark right there at the beginning of the blue was not the uh, what we would think of as January 1st. So they're going to celebrate at that uh, the transition between winter and spring. Okay, I think it's when the game started too, so that does give us a full year of, uh, of gameplay. Um, Balloon has not come back, but I would expect it to any minute now. Edmund is still transporting. He is starting to get cranky. Okay. But he'll drop that off, and then I think he'll run in to sleep. Uh, Carter is hunting a sleeping glutch. I think that's what that means. Carter, do you need to recreate first you kind of do you're going to miss all that you're going to be a kind of a, a butt for the rest of the day all cranky and and uh cranky pated <laughs> uh paulette's cooking transporting how are we doing meal wise now nine veggies two meats and two meat pies now remind me what was a meat pie meat pie is uh, meat and chew roots. Okay. Good. Any meat left or is this done? You are almost done. If she's going to do more, she's got to do it now. So getting meat for meat soup. Let's, Paulette, let's do meat pie. Why can we not do, there you are. Not eat meat pie. Meat pie, meat pie, meat pie. Not enough resources, so I guess the meat just finished, or we ran out of. No, we got. Here's our. Lots of our potatoes are. are. right there. Chew roots. So maybe the meat is officially dried meat now. 
Yeah, or it's close enough that it's it's already uh, counting it as. Okay. So you make whatever you can make. And we could set another Ulfin to hunt. We could. Um, actually, it's up over here where there's a whole bunch of Ulfin. In there. And then up in here is a whole bunch. So we're going to have to do quite a, a hunting day here soon. But today we need to cut a bunch of trees. Alright, so Carter did not get out there to hunt. He didn't. Um, I wonder if I should grab him a meal and yeah, go ahead and grab a just a, actually bush fruits. You don't need the, the bonus for your relaxation. So grab the bush fruits and then come on out here and cut some trees. You're only going to give me one? Cut. Okay, but get in the middle there. Just one. Okay, so i got to do these individually. Carter. There we go. Cut four. And Edmund, risk of meltdown. Yep. And then cut five fallen trees. So that will... And Rita's back. she just get back? Anything new down here? Ooh. She came back with a power cell. How can we get notice of that? I don't know, but I need someone to go pick a bunch of those up. <clears throat> so Edmund's going to sleep. Finally. And Simon, you've been doing a lot of slop. And Rita hasn't been here to move the slop. So we've got a hundred slop sitting in here right now. And bushberries. We've still got 142, and there's got flies all over them. Look at that. So that means something is starting to spoil. You are actually better. So you're at 42%. You guys are at 38%. So 40 must be the, uh, the transition into flies. You all part of the same thing. Okay. Now if I click you individually, you're 32%. And you, individually, are 51. Ah, there's a difference. So, Simon... Oh, you hit the limit. I see. Rita, where are you right now? You sleeping? No. Hunting? Where'd Rita go? She is transporting. You went hunting, didn't you? You did. <laughs> okay, well, you will... Almost immediately. Now well, you'll you'll go to hunting first, won't you? Is hunting in front of farm uh, ranching? Ranch is over here, hunts over there. So you're gonna hit this one before you hit that one. So I could just tell you to constructing a bed. Edmund, you're supposed to be sleeping, dude. Yeah, you need to go. Well, you need to sleep in this bed. But all right, you construct the bed, and then you are going back to. Sleep. Actually, you can do both. Come in here and play music, and then get in here and sleep. And when you wake up, you'll be good for anything else for the rest of the day. We... I'm seeing... This is what I'm... Something's feeling different here. We got grass. We got colors. We got flowers. We do. The snow is starting to go away. We've made it through a, a winter, haven't we? So, I wonder how quickly Rita can start to plant. Oh, she can start planting now. Okay, Rita, your hunting is done. And your planting is number one. Um... I will tell you to ranch. Planting, I need you to default to. So, Rita, you are in decent shape otherwise. Come fill up the slop. Actually, it doesn't even need to be you. Umayar, can you bring food? You can do that. You don't... Uh, she doesn't have to be the ones assigned to ranching to do this. This is full. So, let's get this turned off. 
And Umayar, when you're done with that, come over here and handle the generator. And I need someone to fill up this balloon. As soon as Edmund gets up, he can take off. So, um, Simon, you are gathering supplies. How about you? A uh, slot limit is reached. Do I increase the slot limit? Actually, oh, so you've already grabbed a log, and you're just dropping off the rest all the way. No, you're filling in the blanks. Okay. Once Umair drops this off, I should be able to tell Simon to make slop. There we go. Craft slop. Good. Now, this is not filled. So, Umair, when you're done, can you... It's already on the way. Somebody's already filling this up? Who has a symbol of fuel over them? Nobody. Let's try this again. You refuel on the way. That's Kana handling furnace. Paulette transporting and Carter transporting. I don't know what that means. Who is on the way? <laughs> There's no fuel on the way. Uh, handling a furnace. That would be handling a barrel. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Though I see this is sitting right here. Huh. I don't know. But Simon is transporting. We need someone to come and get all these things too. And that's really kind of a Simon. It is. Uh, Simon, you are actually doing what? You are... I don't know what that symbol means. An unfinished project? You're getting the the unfinished um, spear. And you're putting all the stuff away so you can go make slop. I see. Uh, Kana, can you handle the balloon? Who? I don't know what to make of that. But how about you make some trips? So why don't you haul power cell, haul scrap metal, and haul cap and let's get Umayar to haul coat haul pants and haul boots and Simon when you're done let's get you to haul scrap metal all right so that gets that cleaned up and no longer falling apart out there um, generator did get turned off yes we have enough capacity in this battery for for what we have, which isn't much, to last for quite some time. No point in running that fuel. But I wish I could get this fuel into that balloon. And I don't understand why I can't do that. These... There's fuel in there. Otherwise, there's veggies in these. Let's head down here. These guys are just about there. So that one is going to pop. And that should give us the amount that we need. This one still needs to be handled. Okay. Um, just a matter of who's going to be down this area again soon. Carter's heading this way. Carter, can you handle this as soon as you drop off all of those logs and fill this project up? Okay. You going to build it first? Nope, you're going to go do that. Great. In fact, we're so close. You could almost fill this up at the same time. How soon? Um, it's done. Okay. Then, Carter, when you're done, you can do this one. Let's get both of those up and running. Apparently, they cannot walk through here. Okay. This is a this is a dead end now. Oh, was there a better way to have done this? Hmm. Guess not. Though, I could have you move this. Yeah, let's do that first. So, Carter, move this first. And then I'll have you fill it up. And as they get finished, I'll move them. So, I don't know what happens if you move them loaded. Make sure it doesn't erase the contents accidentally. 
All right, so you do that. Anything else going up there that's important? Moving a ceiling lamp. Oh, yeah. All right, now I need Carter to ferment. And then you can go back to do what you want. Um, I was about to, in between episodes, just throw some blueprints up for some more shelves. And the ceiling lamp was in the way. So that... Oh, now you moved it. Okay. So how close can I go? I guess I'm going to there for now. Until we get these freezers out of here. Or refrigerators. Which, I don't know what out of here means. I thought about batteries here. I guess we could put a refrigerator there. We could, once this is built. What was that? It just started to rain. We have a celebration tonight. So Edmund can't leave tonight. He needs to be here for New Year's Eve. He does. Okay. So first thing next episode, we'll send him out. Simon is getting poo for, for fuel. Where are you going for it? Why? Why? Oh, it's outside. Okay. There better not be poo in my walk-in freezer. <laughs> so, you're saying we're full of slop again? Slop 20. Uh, are we out of berries? Simon, why are you not continuing to make slop? Because liquid fertilizer is ahead of it. Alright, let's move that. It isn't. What did I see there again? Um, Simon, right click. Now I put slop at the top. Before I didn't. Hmm. Okay, you're going to do that instead. And you're just going to keep doing it until you're seeing blurry. Alright, so Carter is transporting. Good. Maybe you'll pick up the one here? Nope, somebody did. So I think that meant somebody had it in their queue. Not that they were doing it, but it was stacked somewhere in all of their orders. So Carter, like Rita, planting and planting 22 more. Ooh. Are you, where are you right now? You're up here. Okay. Oh, and you're chopping down all the trees that Edmund didn't do yesterday because you want to plant this one first. Um, how are you doing otherwise? Your relaxation is low, but you're going to go to a party tonight. Let's get you to do a... This one? Grain cob. And I wonder if this one is... Fertilized grain grass field. Pending, planting, or harvesting. So they must fertilize afterward. I wonder if the grain grass gives more grain than the grain cob. Let's take a good look at that. Um, farming, what is the difference? Grain cob gives us 10. Grain grass gives us 20. Do we know anything else? 20% growth for 12 hours a day. Fertilize gives you 50% growth for 2 days. Whereas fertilizing here only gives you 20% growth for 12, oh, for 12 days. 50% for two days. So I'm kind of thinking the grain grass is a better deal all the way around. Oh, you've already planted. Did you really? They're, you can barely see them, but they're in there. So she's already planted this field. Or at least a good part of it. This part isn't. Okay. Is this planted and I can't see it? No. So Rita, let's have you instead over here and plant this one as much as you can until our 2300 happens the rain is giving everything a bonus and it's raining just dawned on me what that meant winter's over all right so nobody else has run out there to do any hunting i don't see anything highlighted so no more hunting is queued up just our olfen left okay you butcher Oh, it didn't remain... Yeah, it didn't automatically go to Butcher. And it didn't remain highlighted. That was weird. Huh. Uh, any others I can't see in the dark? You're normal. You're, you're alive. <laughs> and uh, not marked for hunting. So it's just those two that are hiding out there. Okay. 
So, Kana is constructing stairs. Good. Oh, did you ever make the CPU? Uh, right here. You did not. Err. Okay. Any hint that it's been started? Nothing. Kana, can you come in and do this until it's time for the party? Craft the CPU core. I really need that. Need that to move on in our research. Need it for a lot of things. In fact, I could use it probably a half dozen of them. Yeah, I've got two. Um, let's do at least four of those. Okay. So this guy's ready to go for Edmund. One hour till the party. Omar is reaching sleeping. Sleep training. And he's more than halfway through it now. That was a five-day run. Simon's going to sleep, but we'll get him up. They're all kind of going to sleep. We'll get them up here in a little bit. They're tired. I don't think sleep happens at 2200, does it? It does for one bedroom's worth. That's right. Yeah. Three in that bedroom. I'll go to bed a little bit earlier. But we'll... Uh, We'll wake them all up. Simon, I wonder if they're going to keep going to sleep, though. I wonder. It could be. New Year's Eve. And... Okay, everybody suddenly woke up. They did. Okay. Risk of meltdown, Kana. Kana right now is right here. So let's grab Rita. Edmund is... What is the knife? He's butchering? You went out to butcher a glutch. You did. And have you already done the other? There were two of them. I don't see another one, so you've already done it. So there's some meat sitting somewhere that we may never find. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kana, break, go party. Paulette, no. Who is it? Rita break and go party and Umayar break and go party okay Edmund since you've walked all the way out here I'm gonna let you is there a chance I can find that meat so where were they compared to each other has to be somewhere between here and the house he did that first there you are okay so we'll catch him on his walk back over here hate to miss the celebration all right, gathering. No, well, this will be here tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll let you do that. We'll have somebody else come out and gather it. So you are on your way back. These guys are all doing what? They are all heading outside to celebrate the new year. Running out the back door, running out the front door. And firing off fireworks. Cool. Okay, Edmund, get in there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where they found the uh, the fireworks stand to buy these, but uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> and I think they're just about done. Okay. Edmund, you need a meal. Your rest is actually pretty good. Let's tell you when you're done with that to grab a, a veggie soup. It says going to sleep. Let's grab a veggie soup. And I'll send you out before we shut this episode down. You will be fine. You can sleep on the way. And you're only going to sleep because you were told to by your schedule. Your rest is actually pretty good. Otherwise, we do have the meat to pick up. Though I don't want to ruin somebody else's sleep to have you go and do it right now. Um, anybody in good shape otherwise besides rest? Carter actually is. In fact, I think... Besides rest, Carter's the best. Okay, Carter, when you wake up in the morning, let's see if we can find that meat again. 
Uh, there. Have you haul meat? Hopefully, you find this other batch. Right there. Hopefully you do. Early access feedback. Yeah, they want me to fill in a chart. So, Edmund did get to sleep. So he got his meal. He did. He just needs... No, he didn't. What? Third time. Eat soup. He's going to ignore me. Okay. I apparently can't uh, can't defeat this in queue. So let's just do that right now. Now you're up. Okay. Once you grab that, I'll send you out of here. Any second now, this is going to pop. All right. So once you get this in you, sun's coming up, and there it is. Well, is I'm paused. Yeah, let's take a minute here. I haven't done one of these before. Um, help us improve the game by sharing the quality of your experience in these areas. Construction, I think I enjoy that one. Exploration, it'd be nice to know a little more about what's out there. Yeah, it feels a little wimpy. Like, we, there could be more information. Let's say okay on that one. Research. That seems to be going pretty good. Let's, let's go there. Resources. There is a good variety of resources here. There is, but we'll, we'll just say nice. Uh, characters are fun. I, I'm, I'm liking the characters. Combat. I do wish I had a little more control over specifics. Let's just go there. UI. I'd say that's, that's pretty good as well. Let's take you to there. And there. Give them a, the sense they have to put a little more effort in all those. But for the most part, this game's pretty solid. Let's submit that. And it didn't crash. Cool. All right, so Simon is working through that. Then I will get him in the balloon and get out of here and get this episode shut down. Otherwise... Sleeping is what's going on. They are all exhausted. And they're going to be exhausted. So let's... Yeah, let's... For today... Kill that. You guys can sleep as long as you want. Then go do what you know relaxation during your anything. Alright, Edmund is available. Let's... Oh, let's go to which one? Let's go back to the luxury cruise ship. So we got three left on that one, three left on that one. But let's go see what this one means. See if we get um, a double return like we did last time. Edmund, send expedition, and go. And Edmund. Did I get that wrong? I didn't do Simon, did I? I mixed those two up. Um, explore, you are Edmund. Why didn't you instantly get the command? I don't know. Draft, undraft. On an expedition. There you go. Okay, so we're sending him off. Everybody else is sound asleep. And I guess we will pick this up again tomorrow. Hungry Pests. 63. Yeah. Hmm. That means... That they are here to eat all of our gardens. Yeah. Okay. We'll deal with this next time. So I'll catch you guys later, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.